Hey one, hey all, and today we're going to look at a transformer that turns into a shark. As a matter of fact, he even has Bite in his name, but it's not Skybite. No, 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 this time around it's the Transformers Cyberverse Hammerbite, and he's going to be our focus this time around in the latest Gapa True Review. Hey one, hey all, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, your most humble of hosts, Dennis Moulton, a.k.a. Gapot. As always, please like, comment, share, of course, subscribe, and while you're at it, baby, light them up. And hit that notification bell, please. It helps me out a ton, and it lets you know when content of all sorts goes up here on the channel. Check out Machinery of Man, The Everything Factor, Transformers Collectors, NL, The Autobot Family, Transformers vs. G.I. Joe vs. DC Universe vs. Marvel, and have a look for me everywhere across social media, or, or, hey, you can help the channel and even become a member of the team by becoming a member of the channel. All you gotta do is hit the join button, or you can check us out on Patreon and see what we offer to you through Teespring. Whew. All of those links down in the description below. I really gotta find a way to shorten that up, I think. Uh, nevertheless, this is the Cyberverse Hammerbite, and I like this guy. Is he perfect? Absolutely not. Is he a little bit overpriced for what you're getting? Uh, maybe, or maybe he's just right, because there is actually a lot here to like, even if the guy does, in essence, turn into a fish. Maybe he's a great fish. We're about to find out when we head over to the table and take a closer look at this And guy. yes, indeed, here we have the guardian of the Aragon Sea, he who keeps the titan known as the Dweller deep within the depths. It, of course, is Hammerbite, and he turns into a hammerhead shark, so it makes perfect sense. He's right there. Before we get into him, though, we're going to take a quick look at the packaging first. And, yep, it's definitely Cyberverse Bumblebee Adventures packaging. We have an alt mode picture up here. We see that he has the Rip Thrash, which is basically his shark head comes over and becomes part of the robot body. Uh, we have images, uh, product images here on the back. Nothing super special. For anyone interested, here we have the instructions. They are pretty fabulous instructions. I love the coloring of the purple and the yellow. It's nice, clear images. I'm not gonna lie, though. I personally haven't bothered to look and at And here, this. of course, we have Hammerbite in his robot mode. That's where we're gonna start from. And we're going to kind of clear things up first. This guy is a warrior class, not a deluxe. It's easy to kind of confuse the deluxe and warrior class in Cyberverse because they're kind of the same size, with the main difference being that deluxe has some more articulation. Like, they're, they're a little more what we're used to for deluxe, as where warriors tend to have some sort of a gimmick. This guy is no exception. He has one. But overall, if we compare him here next to Grease Pit, Selects so Grease Pit, you can see that this guy is basically deluxe size. A little bit shorter, so he's he's a short deluxe, if you will. As for the gimmick, if you push down on the shoulder, his his fish head comes forward and a lower jaw comes up from the bottom down here. Fun fact, this lower jaw that becomes his chest is actually not the lower jaw in his alt mode. As a matter of fact, the lower jaw in alt mode is kind of held within the upper jaw uh, here now in robot mode. In terms of his look, it's all right. Like, you definitely are going to know it's hammer bite, but if we start from the bottom and work our way up, these toes should definitely be uh, maybe a gray, like a gunmetal gray, I'm thinking. This piece over the toes, it should be a dark blue. There should be a, a fin on the side. If you look at his side here, you can see that there's a like a tail fin here on the leg. That should be split and uh, kind of out on the side on both legs. It should be a dark blue, of course. Going up the side here on the side, the entire knee should all be dark blue with just these fin type of section sections in the, the middle of the leg being light blue. The thighs are fine, the pelvis is fine. There should be some uh, extra gray on the torso in here and a little bit of detailing kind of just on the lower part of the chest. The hammerhead that is on the back here as a backpack should really be split and out over the two shoulders. The arms. The fingers here should be a dark blue with a couple of claws on the back actually. These fins on his arms, while I love the dark metallic blue, should really have a light blue going out with the finny part inside being like a gray. The shoulders should have more light blue 
on them rather than just gray with the dark blue out here. The head is just fine, so it's definitely stylized. I'm gonna say it's about a seven. What about the articulation? Well, the head does nothing. The arms can go all the way around, way out to the side. Uh, we have an elbow to 90 degrees. Uh, kind of a bicep swivel because of the ball joint at the elbow, nothing at the wrist, no waist. So no head, no waist. The legs can go out to the side about that far. Like it's acceptable, but it is slightly limited. They go back really all the way, which is cool. And forward that far, which isn't all the way, but I think it's close enough. We don't really have a thigh swivel, but we do have a little swivel up here on the ball joint, which I guess, I guess it suffices, but it's a, I, I wish there was a bit more. The knee is probably 85, 86 degrees. It's not quite 90, nothing at the ankles. He kind of has the articulation of an older, like legends class offering. It's mostly there, but we are missing a couple of key joints. Again, I'm going to say it's about a seven. Oh, what about the transformation? Well, for the most part, that's actually pretty easy. So we kind of split the body and bring the whole thing forward. We take these legs and we just bring them down. So we bring the whole thing kind of forward. And it, right now we kind of have like half of a, a fish body. I'm just gonna reorient things a little bit before we at go At this on. point, he's kind of bent over at the waist, technically. Then these uh, robot legs can come out behind. There's, on the gray piece, there's a little tab. They'll go into slots up right here on the back piece. So that comes up and they kind of rest in there. This tail piece comes out and then the two legs they should be able to go together. Kind of like that. These arms here, they're going to come down underneath the body. And we're gonna see what they tab in in a minute. Basically, there's a little gray tab, or a little tab right here that goes into a, get that one out of it, that goes into a little slot here on the leg. So that'll come down. We'll turn this around and kind of get that in. Do the same, turn it around and kind of get it in. Then, these fins on the arm, they can turn around so that they're facing like the right way that fins should. And then these pieces on the side of the leg, they can come right up over. You're probably gonna knock the arms out getting them in place, but you bring them up, you tab them in, you tab the arms in. If they wanna stay tabbed in, they may not. And in the end, boom, here you have a hammerhead shark. And honestly, I think that this shark mode is probably more successful than what we got with Generation Skybite because that wasn't too much of an arc. This is a little flatter, I suppose. I mean, I doubt most people are going to keep this guy in his alt mode anyway. But I think it pulls it off a bit better. I love the dark blue being like a metallic and I like this gunmetal being kind of metallic. I wish the light blue was also as metallic, but it's not. Such is life. I don't know, a little more dark blue and a little more gunmetal gray would have been nice on this guy. The transformation's not hard. It's clever for what it is and it's intuitive. Again, it's nothing that's gonna blow you away. I'm gonna say it's about a seven. This overall, if this had been say about $15.99, $16.99 Canadian, I think it'd be in the right ballpark. Uh, as it is, taxes in. This guy was closer to 25 bucks and I think it's a bit overpriced for what this is. It should be a bit less than that. Maybe wait for a sale. If you live, for example, in the US and you're kind of wondering my, you know, my thoughts in terms of prices there, I would say that this guy is probably worth about, and I don't know what these warriors are going for down there, but I would say this guy's probably worth about 12.99 ish, maybe maybe $13.99, but that's, that's kind of about it for me. Is he good? Sure, but the transformation's a seven, the articulation's a seven, the pain depths are a seven, he's a seven. He's fine, but he's not gonna blow you away. And here we are once again, and I like Hammerbite. I looked at Generations Skybite a long time ago in episode 188, and that was the only shark transformer that I have in my collection until this guy came along. And I think this guy pulls it off a little more successful. Yes, he's smaller. Yes, he's simpler. Yes, he's from a different line. But in his shark mode, he's a little flatter, and I think that that bodes better for him. Um, I, I, I generally like the look of all of his paint and whatnot. There's some metallic to it. The transformation is definitely easier than Skybite's. 
Um, I get it. it. It's hard to compare kind of apples and oranges there. But uh, I think I enjoy this guy more, even though he's far more simple. Is he perfect? Absolutely not. It'd be nice if the head could move. It'd be nice if he had a waist. It'd be nice if he had ankle tilt. There's a lot here that's a bit of a pain. Do I think he's a bit overpriced? Yeah, he's a little bit overpriced. But if you can kind of find him on sale, uh, he's a fun one to pick up to kind of add to the collection because, if nothing else, he's kind of quirky. And that alone sometimes makes a new character fantastic. Plus, he's a new character. I mean, it's not every day we get new characters, so I'm going to kind of jump on the opportunity when I get the opportunity. Let me know what you think about Hammerbite. You know I love to hear from you guys. I appreciate you coming by giving me some of your extremely valuable time. Man, I do know how important it is to you. If you're in a position to help the channel to grow, you can use the donate link down in the description. Check us out on Patreon. Join the channel. Or, of course, see what we offer on Teespring for you. Of course, hit the subscribe button. Don't forget, baby, that somehow, some way, each and every single solitary day, you do make a difference, and I look forward to the next time that you and I get together to have another visit, either in the live streams on Thursday nights at the stop motion premieres of the old fashioned way, baby, right here inside the videos.